Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Larry Snow and in today's video we're going to be doing one specific thing in MailChimp that a couple of you have been asking about. I know I've gotten a couple of emails about on this and that is in a campaign email clicking a specific link and activating a trigger. Stay tuned, that's coming up next. All right, so I'm logged into my test account over here on MailChimp and how you set up this type of trigger is not the usual way. And I'll show you how this works. So we go to automations and we all know about the customer journey now. Uh, hopefully you do, it's rolling out slowly. It's still kind of in beta. Some of the features aren't all there. Um, but I haven't tried exploring it yet. Obviously, I've gotten it started a little bit, but I might be doing that video uh, at a later time. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do a video on how to do the journeys. But we go over here and we click on Create, and we don't do a customer journey. We're going to do a classic automation. Now, this type of automation is not the regular ones that you see here. They're not in e-commerce, not in subscriber activity, all that. You got to go to the custom button. So we'll click custom. We're going to call this automated 23. Click on begin. And right here, the trigger, click edit. We're going to do it immediately so you guys get to see the result. And it says, well, hey, there's no settings for this trigger. What do you want me to do? So you click on change trigger. And you might be thinking, okay, workflow activity. Oh, I see it. Specific link in previous email clicked. That might work. But for this demo, we're doing campaign activity. And as you can see here, there's six that you can choose from. We're looking for this one down here. Specific link in campaign clicked. So we're going to click on that. Now it's going to look for the campaign that was sent. So we're going to click on I'm a campaign test. And it's looking for a specific URL that was in that campaign. So that's the important piece here. So you have to grab that URL that is in the campaign and paste it in here. So that's what we're going to do. And if we scroll up to the top here, we're going to click on update trigger. Everything is updated. So here is what it's doing. Immediately after a subscriber receives the campaign and clicks a specific link in that campaign, it will send this trigger. And this trigger is an email. So we're gonna click on design email. We'll do this rather quickly. Uh, custom workflow 23 is fine. Email subject. I'm a test. The old general stuff here. Uh, click next. Uh, let's go with uh, tell a story. We'll populate that. Change out the logo. Place. Boom. Insert. Uh, downsize it here. There you go. Edit, share a story. Just say, hiya, you clicked a link. Hurrah. And there you go. Of course, Grammarly wants to have a comma in there, so we'll do that. And then for brevity, I'll shorten this up, but I'm just basically going to delete everything else in this template here. Uh, obviously, you would edit it and make it all nice and pretty, but for this video, I just wanted to make it nice and short here. So I will delete all this stuff and we'll come back. All right, everything's out of there. We're going to click on Save and Continue. Okay, so here's our preview, custom workflow, specific link, and uh, the, in the campaign test. So we're all set with designing our email. We're going to click on Next. Uh, audience, email, all good. Start sending. It's going to send to one email. So we're going to go back to uh, campaigns. So here it is, sending. 
and it'll probably wait a couple minutes and then we'll come back and we'll check it out to see if it all worked. And one of the things you can do while you want to check to make sure that this automation is actually working is you can go into the report for that automation and it says subscribers who have completed, so I should be receiving my email shortly. And the other thing would be to scroll all the way down here and to see view subscribers in queue. And it shouldn't have anyone in queue right now because it was actually sent. So we'll go over to our email now, and here it is. I'm a test. And it says, hi, you clicked the link, hurrah. So this was just a basic test of this type of trigger, but you can imagine the possibilities of this type of thing. You can uh, add it into a series of automations if you've upgraded to the free plan. So I wanted you to take a look to see how that all works. Hopefully it's been helpful. Post in the comments below if you'd like to see more of this type of video. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button and if you'd like to see more of this type of thing, make sure you click on the subscribe button and that bell notification so that you immediately get a notification or an email uh, to let you know when the next video goes up on the channel. Thanks, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.